After a series of developer-focused early previews, the public-facing Android 14 Beta 1 update is now available to a small pool of eligible Google Pixel handsets. And here are some of the top new features. Before we dive in though, all of these functions should stack up with the last couple of developer previews. So for any newcomers out there, check out our previous videos to see all of that new stuff. We're focusing on beta one here in this particular video. You'll find links to those down in the description below. And we have noted in this video, a few changes that have been reverted or pulled from this latest update. Plus, we also have some information on how you can get your hands on our exclusive wallpapers and even a special announcement. So stick around for that. Enough time wasting, here's what's new. So a long awaited function that finally arrives in the Android 14 beta update is the ability to turn the gesture nav bar transparent like many other third party skins out there. For years, this has not always worked perfectly within certain applications as you'd often get a black border around that gesture pill or your on screen buttons if you use those. This function isn't actually available as standard. Instead, you'll need to dive into the developer options section and find the transparent navigation bar toggle, enable this, and even in apps that don't officially support transparent or see-through sections for gestures and on-screen buttons, it should be fully clear now. Aesthetically, we think this is a great new option for Pixel phones, and we do hope it continues to be developed and arrives in this stable release later this year. We have a couple of features here that have also been pulled directly from the recent Android 13 QPR 3 Beta 2 release. One of these is that you might notice straight away is after long pressing an app icon on your home screen, the pause and app info shortcut icons have been flipped or switched around. And this is very, really super minor in the grand scheme of things, but it might ruin your muscle memory when using gestures in the Android 14 one beta one update. I also, on top of that, another function that was added in Android 13 QPR 3 beta two is the enhanced pin privacy function. This is just another layer of security for your pin entry screen. And instead of showing animations when you're tapping or activating keys and buttons, when entering your pin, these buttons themselves remain static so that any prying eyes can easily see what you're entering and it does obscure things a little bit more readily. When you press enter or press that continue key, that will activate them. We are waiting for more customization coming to the default Android share sheet, but until then, there is an added toggle here or the return of a toggle. Nearby share is now back as one of the default actions when you do things such as share screenshots, screen recordings or on device files. We're not sure just yet, but it might help increase usage of this airdrop like function when Android 14 does officially arrive, but it's definitely more prominent now than it was previously. The markup tool in Android 14 is also getting some neat quality of life tweaks here in beta one. The update here makes it just easy to see what color is selected for the pen and highlighter tools by default. So working just like a color pen lid, like you would on a real life uh, instrument to write our writing tool, you don't need to dive into the tool itself to see what color your edits will apply on screen. It looks like this is by default set to blue. Changing the color of this pen and highlighter tools will revert back to the original colors though when you edit another image or screenshot. But when you're adding multiple layers of color, it is a nice addition. And maybe this will change in a future update. And although it is a minor change all the same, it's just a nice user interface touch that helps improve your daily experience when touching up or altering images and screenshots on your phone. When you're actually changing the default system language, if you happen to speak multiple languages in Android 14 beta one, Google has also added a neat step to help reduce accidental changes with a dialog box that will pop up to confirm your choice. Uh, it will briefly just explain that device settings and any associated regional preferences, which was added in developer preview two, will change by altering this system language setting. It's a pretty nice addition. It's not the most important, but again, it's another one of those quality of life additions that Google really does seem to like. This wouldn't be the most recent Android update though, without the most up-to-date monthly security patch bundled in. Android 14 beta one does include the April 2023 security patch so that it's ready for daily usage by the full hardy Pixel user. More on that in a moment though. On top of that, the June 2023 Google Play system update is also bundled in. So safety is absolutely assured if you're happy to test drive this beta software on your Pixel. As I noted right at the top of this video, there are a few things that were added in Android 14 developer preview one and developer preview two that have been changed, reverted or rolled back to the default settings here in beta one. It might not make a huge difference if you were unaware of these, but we think they're notable nonetheless. So here goes. One of the most prominent is the single line at a glance widget that you're likely spotted in the, uh, the lock screen when using Android 14 
developer preview 2. Well, this has now been reverted back to that regular two line style uh, Android widget that has been used since Android 12. This doesn't mean that we won't see more changes, but it is nice to see consistency from lock screen to home screen once again. And it's a change that does make a lot of sense. While this has been restored though, there's also a new toggle here in display and then lock screen section that will let you disable the weather or current weather conditions in the at a glance widget itself. Sadly though, this doesn't work just yet, but it might be useful if you prefer to open or unlock your phone to check the current conditions in your area when it is eventually made available. A couple of things have also been removed from the wallpaper and style section, including the clock settings function, which of course there wasn't any in developer preview one and developer preview two. Also the monochrome option in the basic color section has been removed as well. We're expecting these to return in a future update as Google refines these ahead of the stable release. So stay tuned to learn more about these later down the line. Android developer preview two also added a new contrast level slider within the color and motion setting to enhance overall device accessibility for those with visual impairments. It's actually not clear, but this has actually been rolled back here in Android 14 beta one. Maybe it's ready for some tuning or it'll need some extra features before it comes back in some form later down the line. But for now, it's definitely not available to you. So I can't say there's a huge pool of things that have been added, but if you add those in with developer previews, it does seem to be quite a few refinements rather than overhauls with Android 14, especially now that we're in this beta phase, we'll see more refinement of certain features and functions or just quality of life additions, especially with Material U playing such a core component here. If you're wondering though, if it's safe to install Android 14 beta one, well, in theory, it should be given that this is the first public facing beta, but I can't honestly hand on heart suggest that anyone do so at least not yet anyway. I have to say I'm seeing lots of bugs here on my Pixel 7. The in-display fingerprint scanner for one doesn't seem to work correctly and it asks for my pin constantly rather than just letting me into my device after scanning my digits. UI artifacts are also quite common and the system gestures just stop working at times and the phone itself can lock up for a few seconds here and there, not being giving you the inability to actually use it correctly. You can also see on screen that there are a number of issues, including the picture and picture mode, work profiles and the camera preview. I would say just avoid this for now if you don't have a backup phone that you can rely on. And that's something you wouldn't ordinarily say with a lot of Google's forward public facing betas. Now, though, for announcements, if you want to get our exclusive space themed Android 14 beta wallpapers, then you're going to have to hit that like button and share this video. If we do happen to hit 3000 likes, then you'll find them in the wallpapers link below in our pinned comment. I'm also mentally proud to say that if you want to support what we do here even further and love our Astro Droid mascot, then you can grab official merch from our Cotton Bureau storefront with five unique designs to choose from. We think the quality and consistency is second to none, and I don't think you'll regret it one bit. Even these though, these are a premium product. Plus it does of course help keep the lights on. Hopefully though, you enjoyed this look at Android 14 beta one. I'm sad uh, and sorry it isn't the most in-depth release in history, but let me know how you're getting on if you've tried it. Until next time though, this is Damon with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.